Hello everybody, Osak here, and uh, coming at you again here on Saturday, August the 17th, 2024, and uh, today, uh, or this time I should say, I uh, wanted to share uh, this little baby here, picked it up just a little bit ago from the uh, dealer. Now, this is a Smith & Wesson Model 10, obviously, I guess, to the people who know about Model 10s. This is a 10-8 and uh, I don't know if you can see that on the inside of the yoke there. Maybe, maybe not. But right there, it, it'll say 10-8. And uh, so that just means it's the eighth iteration, eighth change, I guess you could say, of the Model 10. This is uh, basically from the late 70s to early 80s. Right in that period, this is a law enforcement uh, trade-in. It may have come from Europe. And AIM Surplus has these. And uh, the last time uh, they were available was like four years ago. And that was, uh, uh, and I don't know if it's the same source or what, but that was classic uh, firearms that had those. And uh, so I saw them come back in, and uh, I missed, missed that opportunity back then because I, I kind of wanted a bull barrel Model 10 like this. And so I jumped at the uh, the chance to to get another one. Now this is uh, again Model 10. This is the actually the most popular uh, handgun in the in the world. I think more of these have been made than any other type of handgun. I might be wrong about that, but uh, let's say revolver. <laughs> okay, uh, other other uh, you know like semi-autos might be more popular, like Glock perhaps. I don't know, but I believe this is the uh, most popular revolver in in the world, and uh, you can see here it's you know a bull barrel model. That's the the ten eight. It's got fixed sights, so it's got the gutter, and then the front blade that you look down, and again the uh, lights is kind of shining off that front sight, but that's the sight picture. Of course, it is unloaded. Wouldn't be swinging around like this if it wasn't. And uh, so I just got it. I did. I did just clean it real quick, and the bore was actually uh, really not dirty, and, and the uh, cylinders are also not dirty. And uh, so I don't know if you can see the uh, the bore there. Put my finger in there. Maybe that'll help you. See how shiny that is. Really nice. And so this is this is pretty typical of uh, law enforcement trade-in. They carried them in their holsters a lot. <laughs> okay, so they did get wear, and you know there's some wear on this side, and you, you know you can see like the the holster wear on the muzzle, and uh, you know usually a little more wear on the right side than the left, which is true here, and uh, but then the you know the mechanism's tight, so if I cock it and then let it down, it locks up very 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 tight, so that's nice, and it indexes well, perfectly, timing is good. And, uh, you know, it's just got some uh, wear, got some love uh, spots on it, <laughs> okay? And uh, so this, of course, is chambered in 38 Special, and these can uh, handle plus P really easily, not a problem. They're very, uh, very stout uh, pistols. And uh, as you can see here, they got the kind of Magna-style uh, grips, and it did come with these wood grips. And uh, the price on these from... Uh, you know, as I make this video, from AIM is three seventy nine. Now, four years ago, they were two ninety nine. <laughs> so we had a little buy inflation happen, I guess, uh, about you know eighty dollars more. Uh, but that's not too bad when you look and you consider, you know, that they make these new still, and uh, you can get them new for if you want to uh, spend nine hundred bucks, right? <laughs> or maybe eight hundred if you can find a really good price. So you know, three seventy nine is not bad at all. I don't mind the 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 wear marks on it and and whatnot. I know it's going to shoot well, and uh, of course I'll confirm that. Take it to the uh, range, and uh, so anyway, I just wanted to kind of share that with you. Of course, it's a double action, single action, and like all your Smith and Wessons, the uh, this this double action is very very smooth, and the, the single action break is is like breaking you know breaking glass just like they say super super nice and uh, so I expect it to be a good shooter 
And uh, so I just wanted to do a quick uh, show and tell. And uh, again, share my uh, my new uh, little pistola here with you. And let you see what you're what you can possibly get if you order one from AIM like this. I do encourage you if you're at all interested to check it out and uh, you know go ahead and put that order in because uh, they're not going to last very long and and then you're going to see them all over YouTube people doing reviews <laughs> okay and then you're going to think wow I should have got that and they'll be all gone at that point and then you'll go on to gun broker and people will be you know be asking 700 bucks for them six seven hundred bucks so uh they're really a good buy they're only going to go up in value and like i said these really are the most popular revolvers in the world chambered for probably the most popular revolver uh cartridge 38 special so uh that's about it i just of course there's all kinds of you know aftermarket grips and holsters and all kinds of stuff made for these because there's just so many of them you really can't go wrong, and if, if you ever need work done on them, there's spare parts are available. Uh, you know, it's kind of like the Glock uh, of revolvers, or Glock is the uh, <laughs> is the Model 10 of semi-automatics. It's probably more accurate. So there you go, folks. Just wanted to share that with you. As always, if you like the videos, you want to be notified uh, when a new one comes out, please uh, subscribe, and if you like the video, please like. I'd appreciate it, and uh, if you want to share it out with your, your buddies and let them uh, know about this, I would uh, very much appreciate that as well. Everybody, take care, and we'll see you next time.